What's up guys? What we are drilling today is our chest movement. And in this video, we got three drills. First, we have contracting and expanding, all right? Expanding and contracting. Second one, we have shifting. We're shifting side to side. And the third drill, we're gonna work on rotation. We're gonna go from right to left, as well as left to right. If you're new to my channel, I'm Siege, I teach, and I make dance tutorial videos. If you find my videos helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, because it really helps with the algorithm. My tutorials are dance long videos, which means you can practice with me as you watch. You will find my tips and detailed explanation on these drills towards the end of the video. And this is where I share specific techniques on how to overcome common mistakes. Each exercise is about one minute, and it's not too long, but enough to build muscle memory. My challenge to you is to try to keep up with me throughout the entire video. If you can't do it at first, try again tomorrow, because building coordination takes time and patience. Okay, if you're ready, I'll see you in the drills. Let's enjoy, have fun, and make it funky. Yeah. first drill we're working on expanding and contracting of the chest so what you want to do is really get your chest out here okay as much as you can and then 
concave back in. Okay, this is the side view, this is the front view. So basically all you're doing is you're, you're really expanding your chest out to the front and then back in. In the first eight count, we're doubling it. So it's one, two, we're going one, two, and down three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So really take your time. And every time you do this, you wanna think about reaching your maximum uh, expansion and also your maximum contraction. As close it in as, as much as possible. So when you first started to do this, you might find that you know maybe your range of movement is not as big, but the more you do it, the idea is you're trying to think about expanding the movement, so make it as big as possible. And with this one minute drill, you're gonna find that you know you're probably gonna get a little bit tired uh, from the movement, and actually you're gonna find that your your uh, your chest is gonna start getting warm because the muscle contraction in the, in the muscle movement, all right? So that's the first eight count. And the second eight count, this is where we do the singles, which is a little bit faster. We're going one, two, three, four, okay? So you, 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 if you saw the drill already, we're, we're changing from slower to faster. So you got to keep in mind, the first eight count is double. You're slowing down. You're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then, and then you're going quick. One, two, three, four. So we're switching between the slow and the fast, and you just have to keep track with it. And don't worry about it. I mean, just, you know, as you do along with me, you're gonna, you're gonna see that, all right? So another thing about when you're doing these drills, um, I'm not showing the legs, but what you wanna do is make sure you stand wide enough so that you're nice and stable, okay? If you're standing with your legs together too tight, your stability might not be there. So I stand maybe about, you know, with my, with my feet about shoulder width apart so that I'm nice and stable, okay? So I'm not gonna fall up in the fall. But from the side right here, I got nice, you know, nice stability. I'm not falling again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back, back to, you know, the tip. This one is pretty simple. You just gotta focus on when to go slow, when to go fast, and focus on expanding as much as you can, the maximum range, and the maximum range in, the maximum range out, okay? So for drill number two, this is very, very important where we really gotta make sure you stand a little bit further apart, okay? Your legs should be a little bit wider because you are shifting side to side, okay? So the tip is, as you shift, okay, and again, the range, the, the range of movement should get bigger and bigger, uh, larger and larger. When you first start, if you've never done this movement before, your range of movement might be uh, limited, might be small, okay? Hopefully, as you practice more and more, you should be able to shift really, really big, okay? Again, it's the same as the uh, previous exercise where we are going slow first. We're going one, two, three, Four. So I'm moving on the one, right on the one. One, two, and I hold the two. Three, four, I hold the four, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. This is a little bit slower, it gives me more time. Now the next eight count immediately we're going to fast. So you're gonna single, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So it's a lot faster, okay? But it should be easy enough where you can, uh, for you to concentrate and you can switch between the slow and the fast. So this is a good, Move, move good warm up movement to get your get your body to shift side to side okay and again what i would do is i would probably stand with my feet pointing out pointing out a turnout okay so this will allow allow me good lateral control all right so uh take that give it a try again focus on maximum range maximum movement if you start off like this here one, two, three, four. The next time you do it, really try to go one, two, three, four. And then even try to expand even more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And sometimes, you know, as you try more and more, you might, you might find that, hey, I'm getting off balance or whatnot. But the more you practice, your balance will get better, your range will get better, flexibility will get better, and then your rhythm will get better. So in our third drill, this is where we're doing our rotation, all right? So again, the first eight counts a little bit slower. The way we're doing it is we're going one, two, three, 
four. This is if I were to break it down, okay? So every beat, it's like a, a it's like a 90 degree, 90 degree um, weight. I'm going one, which is to the right, two to the front, three to the left, four to the back, if I, if I think of it this way. So with the music, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so in one eight count, I got two rotations. And then the second eight count, keeping the same rotation, I'm going and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And obviously we have more rotations there, okay? And then immediately we gotta rotate the other way, okay? Going slow, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we got and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So again, rotating, again, this is one of those things that you gotta get. You have, you should focus on having a good base, okay? What I do is I probably, I bend my knees slightly. Uh, you probably couldn't tell from the video because uh, some loose pants, but bend your knees slightly. It'll give you a better control of your balance and better control of this rotation. Guys, I hope you guys have fun in this video. And as I said before, building coordination takes time and patience. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write them in the comments. I'll answer them as soon as possible. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Peace.